Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're at the Claremont Collections, which is a private museum, but today I'm with Andrew Vogel. Great to see you, Lou, always. Vice President of Marketing and Sales here at the Claremont Collection, and today's car, I'm gonna let Andrew, first of all, tell us a little bit about where we're at, where are we at? Okay, so the Claremont Collection is a private automobile museum in the city of Chicago. We're about 100,000 square feet, and over 300 cars on display here in a very cool setting. Go to ClaremontCollections.org and check out the website. You'll see photos and videos and all kinds of other information. Uh, but we're private, uh, but Lou's here, and so we're going to see a very cool car today, one I bet you've never seen before. Well, one of the reasons why we're in the vintage room here at the Claremont Collections, and not only that, but we're in the corner of the vintage room. So in the corner of the vintage room... <laughs> tucked away. <laughs> tucked away, we find a 1912 Little Roadster. And it's not just a little because of its size, that's actually the name of the car. So Andrew, tell us about this car. All right, so this car was really William Durant. Now see if you, you have to get in the Wayback Machine here and, and check this out. And maybe a little Googling you'll have to do too on this. But William Durant ran the Buick manufacturer until he was fired. When he left Buick, he started his own company called Little. And Durant, you'll, you'll know because he was later, obviously, it's very instrumental with General Motors. But this was his Little. Now, this is the first year between 2000, uh, excuse, 2000, I said that, didn't I? 1912 and 1913, they made this car and then immediately changed the name to Chevrolet. So this is the precursor to the bow tie right here that we know as Chevrolet today. Wow. And, and what we have in this car is just a phenomenal, impeccably restored, near 100 point car. I mean, this is a very show worthy car. Everything you see on it's been detailed down to the finest point. Uh, all the mechanical things obviously are great, but, the, but cosmetically it's superior. All the wood, it's, it's walnut and uh, the trim you see everywhere. And everything that looks like chrome is not chrome, of course, because this predates the invention of chrome. So it's all nickel plated and polished. So uh, everything from the, the windshield trim, the, the steering column, the lanterns, which of course were oil burning in the day. Uh, it's just a really wonderful bit of history right here in the museum. You know, I'm, I'm noticing something right off the bat. Well, first of all, look at the word little. And I'll actually turn that so it makes a little more sense. But what a, what a treat. And of course what we have to remember is here we are early enough in the, in the history of the automobile itself that most cars in the day had right-hand drive and so does this car. And now you see a car like this and it's so rare that there are less than 20 of these left in the world. Yeah, the tail light. Less than 20 yep. in the world. And then here's the interior. Now notice there's a door here, but you're not getting in with a tire here. So I'm assuming the only way you could get in is the, the other side. But of course we can show you this way. We've got the clutch and the brake clearly marked out. steering wheel. Our key. Wow. Really, really cool. Let's uh let's open her up on this side here. A lot of iron. <laughs> there's, this, there's, your, there's your oil and wow, really cool. Let's open the other side. I'm gonna let Andrew run around behind me there so we take a look at this windshield. How it opens. There you go, now you get to see the carburetor, 
way down low there and you see the starter. Get those little cups. Generator a little. You fill those little cups with some gasoline. Is it a primer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generator back there, but I'm not sure. I, know I guess that's a distributor. What am I saying? It's a crank start, so you see the big crank wheel. Yep, right there. Oh, All right. Cloth wiring. Yeah. All right. Well, let's close her up. Okay. Boy, I enjoyed digging into the recesses here at the Claremont Collection because you're you're bound to find something fun. For sure, and you know. It, this is a room that is full of these wonderful cars, so you have to see it. You really have to go looking because I've been here for a long time and I still see things every day I've never seen before. So I encourage you to, to at least look at the website and get a group together and maybe come in for a tour. But uh, come back and see us again. It'll be great to see you here always. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for being on my car story. You bet.